Back inside the Powell Athletic Center here, Campbellsville gets the win over Shawnee State 80 to 54 as the Lady Tigers close out the regular season this weekend. To do that, you had to knock off this Shawnee State bunch and, and keep hopes alive for a, yep. a regular season title coach. The, I feel like the first few minutes there was a bit of a feeling out process, especially not having seen the right. Shawnee State yeah. team there, an athletic bunch uh, and different things. Uh, kind of a slow process to begin things, but you guys got rolling. It's, it's hard to see, just watch film and judge their, their quickness, and we told them how quick their guards were and, and how they were downhill and tried to get to the rim, but that was, like you said, we hadn't seen that team, and it was just uh, hard to size them up and, and figure out what to do. But I felt like after the first quarter, we, we kind of got our feet wet and got going. You guys get 20 points and 10 rebounds from Ashley McGeorge. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just your average night for McGeorge. Uh, she was working through some stuff. And, yeah, she uh, didn't feel great tonight. Yeah. So that was, it was. She played great. She did. <laughs> I could tell when we come to the first time out, she didn't look good. She didn't look like she felt good. and. Uh, um, they were tending to her a little bit on the sideline, but she really toughed it out, I felt like, and did a good job. 20 points is a new career best, 10 rebounds, her third double-double of the season. Mm -hmm. All of that, Coach, in 16 minutes, she was 6 of 9 from the field. So the efficiency to post 20 points on just nine shot attempts, you can't ask for much more, but to yeah. do it in 16 minutes, all the more impressive. Yeah, I was, I was very pleased with the minutes that she got to play. And, you know, we don't want to play a lot of minutes because we have to turn around and play again on Saturday. So to be able to get that uh, – to get that lead and uh, and be able to to let some kids rest, it was a good thing. Uh, also tonight, you get some good bench production from Sarah Sutton and Caitlin Wilkes. Yeah, kind of those those post players, uh, McGeorge, of course, and Wilkes down inside Sutton as well. Uh, really were the difference in this. You, you didn't get a ton in terms of scoring from your, your guards tonight, but your three yep. posts were certainly really good. Well, they set back in that 2-3 zone, and uh, I felt like our post did a, did a good job sealing and pinning, and we did a good job getting the ball to them. So it was uh, important that we did that. We, we did get a lot of shots. I don't think we shot it just great from the three-point line, obviously five for 24, but uh, we did get a lot of looks. Uh, but we wanted to, to put it in and push it in and, and get some easy buckets inside. Talk to me about uh, Shyla Calvert a little bit, Coach. Yeah. Uh, she scores zero points tonight. Right. She was 0 of 7. She didn't shoot it great, but she was a monster. Yeah. Uh, she was really good on the defensive end. A new career best, six assists. That's always fun here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're wrapping up right. your career at home, and, and mm -hmm. you post uh, your, your best uh, assist total in one of your final games here. But, uh, man, she continues to play really, really well. I just think bench. she's playing her best basketball. Uh, she is, in, in recent games, she's just doing all the floor stuff, everything that you need defensively. She's finding the post offensively quicker than the rest of us are, and we're wanting all of us to get in there and find it the way she is. She's playing with confidence. She didn't shoot it well tonight, but she shot it with confidence. She got bumped a couple times on those drives, so I think we could have had a couple baskets there if, if they had been called. But I, I'm so pleased with the way she's playing right now. Sight for sore eyes, Lexi Lake uh, returns. She missed 10 games, haven't seen her since the 13th of January, I know getting her back uh, here uh, this weekend was critical for you guys. Uh, just before the games become kind of a, a mm -hmm. sudden death feel, you, yeah. you have her to, to get her legs back under and acclimated back in. Uh, a really critical stage for you, and nice to have her back. It's so nice. And our rotations are still not where they need to be when we get to a national tournament setting or even a, the conference tournament. But we're there. We're, we're able to get her in. And it looks like she 17 minutes tonight, not too bad for a kid that set out. And that shows how well she and her training staff worked just to stay in shape that she was able to come in and play. And, and she got her hand, her, her surgery hand, on a lot of balls tonight. She wasn't afraid to get her, her hand out in the passing lane, and I thought she did a really good job. Uh, you get a short turnaround. I, I Looks like Thomas Moore and Georgetown are going to overtime. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, Georgetown team that Coach Nickel has is uh, a very talented right. one. Uh, this one doesn't mean a ton to you because Conference mm -hmm. right. standing Seating. Saturday's uh, a must win, but uh, Thomas Moore, one of the best teams in the country, mm -hmm. comes here on senior day. This place is going to be a, a fun place to be Saturday. Yep. You know, we hope we can come out and uh, and play play our best basketball. We want to. We want to send our seniors out with a bang, and Thomas Moore is one of the, if not the best team in the in the country right now. So it's a. Uh, you know, we're glad to have this one over with. Now we can take a deep breath, rest, and, and get ready for Saturday. Coach, congratulations on this one. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you. Coach Ginger High Calvin and the Lady Tigers victorious over Shawnee State, 80-54, to 54, your final score.